Hello everybody, I'm the Awesome Jimbo. Welcome back to Let's Play Sonic Adventure DX. So in the last episode, uh, I don't, why do I, I even said before I wasn't going to do that anymore. So in this episode, gotta get away from a scary robot because Amy is kind of an idiot. And I guess I'm just, well this is really a filler part of the game anyways, because it just really doesn't know what else to do. Anyways, in the last episode I was talking about how I like Sonic 06, so I should rob Okay, nice that that still counts. Why even? I, I, I feel like I just, I feel like I just descended to hell by witnessing that creature. Uh, so Sonic 06, don't get me wrong, it's an absolutely atrocious game. Boom! Oh, nonsense! That was a strike, and you know it, you jerk. Yeah, jerk. Yeah. Um, so, like, I mean, I like it more. So okay, there's like a hundred greens completely gone. Thanks a lot. Um, it's like a hundred. Um, I like it more so for the ideas than the execution. And I do kind of think that story is kind of interesting, but it's a very bad game, honestly. It's easily the worst game I've ever played. The story is interesting, and it would would have been pretty decent if it wasn't a Sonic game, because as a Sonic game, it kind of wants to take itself, so, it's taking itself so seriously. It's like, it's a giant cartoon hedgehog that runs at the speed of light. How, that's, wants to be, take itself seriously. And of course, Dr. Robotnik looks weird as shit in this game. Like, what the heck did they do to him? And, uh, of course, the game is just littered with problems. But, like, the Sonic levels are the most enjoyable, but they're also the mo most difficult. I like the silver segments, and but I don't really see how they could have realized that. Oh, wait, they did. It's a game called Gravity Rush. It has nothing to do with Sonic. Uh, so... In a sense, the shadow mission, the shadow levels are the most boring, in my opinion, because they don't really have a whole lot. But like, I was thinking on doing a let's play of that sometime. If you guys want me to do that, I'm, I'm totally down to put myself into absolute hell for you guys. I mean, I did that with Mega Man X7, but Sonic 06 is a much, much longer game. And I've played through the whole game once, but yeah, it was like eight years ago, so my memory of it is is not. Welcome to Twinkle Park. You, I oh, just left shoot. Twinkle Park. I've lost Amy. I bet that robot hauled butt after her. That's not. That's I not. Nobody says that. Nobody says hall butt. So, like, what is this? Twinkle Park, Twinkle Circuit, that's where you can play the racing minigame. Who cares about that? Uh, Sonic and the Secret Rings, fuck that game. That game is absolute trash. And now, we're into... Okay, so, we gotta look... There it is. Um, I can use this to get into that building. That's oddly specific, Sonic. And it, let me, let me in. Cyber Met Met Inc. Sure, and it's just one level after another, so it's got decent pacing at least. Yeah, it's like rescuing animals. It's basically what ridiculous Sonic was. Uh, so Sonic and the Secret Rings would have been would have been pretty solid if it wasn't for the for the absolutely garbage controls. I hate it more than so I dislike it more than Sonic 06. Of course, I liked it when I was younger, but that's when I was a goddamn moron. And on, in, in hindsight, I'd probably and a lot of people said that criticize me on my top 10 games I hate franchise I like for saying you can't stop on a dime when I showed a clip of the person playing the game stopping on a dime. I'm like, well, yeah. Uh, I hate Sonic and the Black Knight more because it didn't fix any of the problems that Secret Rings had. 
and it was just kind of there. Sonic and the Secret Rings, at least it was a, an attempt. An attempt, I stress. So I'm willing to be a bit, le a lot less harsh on it than I was with Black Knight. But Black Knight had a way cooler concept. It was just way, it was just badly executed. It was just pretty much the exact same thing. It was pretty much the same thing except way less content and and of course the concept would have worked if it was in a game that was better more better play tested. Whoa! Ah damn it. So, I don't like either of those games. Sonic Chronicles Dark Brotherhood, haven't played it, not going to. Um then after that was Sonic Unleashed. I like the daytime stages, and the Werehog sections are sort of a guilty pleasure. Of course, I understand why people hate it, hate those segments, because it's not Sonic, it's just crappy God of War. And so, if you just wanted a God of War experience, just play God of War. Because God of War is so much better. Especially 3, that game is fantastic. Except the story, the story is kind of kind of trash. Um, uh, but I still like Sonic Unleashed. Wow, that's kind of a abruptly loud noise. Uh, whoa. Hit detection doesn't even matter. I could just, I could just not hit any of those. I could just hit all of those things and it wouldn't make a difference. It's so stupid. Uh, I can hit those. Like... Why are those even there? Just to give off the illusion that there's... I don't, I don't care. But you know what? I'm oddly enjoying myself with this. And of course, given how fast things are going, I'm actually willing to record a fifth episode for this. So you guys get a special treat from yours truly. Um, provided that the video files didn't get corrupted. I hope they don't. None of my uh, Let's Play episode recordings have ever gotten corrupted ever since. I got this new computer, but I just want to be extra safe, because you never know, and if that ever happens, it's really infuriating, and, alright, so Sonic and the Black Knight, just go watch my, you should just go watch my top 10 games I hate and franchises I like video, so that you can get a full understanding of what I feel about that game. Like basically, I yeah, I hate that bad. game. It's like my second my second least favorite Sonic game now. It was my least favorite for a little bit, but that kind of changed. So Sonic Colors pretty good, but it just has bad boss fights. The final boss fight is actually pretty good though, but the rest of the boss fights are kind of bad, and they just kind of shamelessly rehash them. And like I remember watching a video where I. Black Mage Maverick, who's like, it's just hold forward the game, hold forward to win the game. I'm like, have you played it, Sonic? I'm like, um, have you played any other Sonic game, buddy? Because every Son, because that's basically almost every Sonic game nowadays. Okay, casino area. Amy. Yep. Oh man. Where can she be? Ah! Sonic! Help! I'll cut him off at the Mystic Ruins! Man, the music in these cutscenes is so disgustingly loud, but the audio syncing is actually not bad, and... There, whoops. Uh, so, uh... The Sonic Color is a pretty good game. And, uh, so I'm like, I watched his disappointing games, and I'm like, really, dude? Like, pretty much every Sonic game is like, now, almost every 3D Sonic game is like that. Hey there, Bullbrain. You better give Amy to me or I'll squash ya. And also, Sonic Adventure 2 is not much better, is, is not any better. Mmm, the soundtrack is hey, delicious. What's happening here? Yeah, I don't know. The someone turned down the brightness settings. And 
then they turn the brightness settings back up. That, like, oh. mm. stop, stop! Don't take her away from me. Future Fuckballs 2019, I lost her again! Gee, I wonder where I'm supposed to go. <laughs> and then there's Sonic Generations, best Sonic game, easily. Without question. And in my opinion, it was the last good one. Sonic Lost World, eh, haven't played it, not going to, because of all the stuff I've heard, and it looks really unappealing to me. And then there's, uh, Sonic, what was that? What? Oh wait, wasn't I supposed to... Ready, go. Oh, no. Wait, wait, I was supposed to collect some. Wait, I was supposed to get something, but... Uh... Oh, it's right here. So, good for me. I just like how Sonic's like, No, wait, I have to be in the center of the circle. For whatever this reason. This is the ancient light. Try the light speed dash toward the enemy. With this, you can now do the light speed attack. <laughs> Okay. Ready. All right. So here's a meme. Some of you can. Oh, hey, what's up, buddy? Ready. What? Ready. If I press the X button, it resets itself. And uh, boom. Nah, man, I forgot my joke. I was like, I was supposed to be like, let me smash, and then just. Yeah, that that's kind of a dated meme. This episode is now hashtag dated on arrival. Like, I only found out about that meme, like, a couple months ago, and about a month ago, and it's, like, in my opinion, one of the funniest memes. <laughs> one of the only memes I kind of like. It's so, it's actually really funny. It's like... It wouldn't be nearly as funny if it wasn't for that... For that text-to-speech voice. It, that's text-to-speech voice is so funny. Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric, I've played, I have played a little bit of it, and it's just, it's a nothing game, and it's just like, nobody even cared about this game, but honestly, if it wasn't for being a rushed, rushed piece of garbage, the game would, still wouldn't be good, because, because it has nothing to do with being a Sonic game, it's just, it, the game would have been alright, if it wasn't a Sonic game, it's just that, that's one of the biggest problems with Sonic, with Sonic games is that they tend to deviate from what makes a Sonic game a Sonic game. And it's not, and it's just nonsense. Whoa, whoa, okay, whoa, okay. That made me for a second. And why was there a splat sound effect? Unless I, unless that thing had like a human brain in it, and I squished it. In which case, there should not. But well, that that would make sense, but why? Um, so wait, what was I talking about? Um Crap, I've lost my train of thought. So like uh Sonic Room by the Lyric still would I haven't played uh, Shattered Crystal. But I didn't it was kinda where I was just starting to uh, lose hope for Sonic the Hedgehog. Admittedly, so, um, um, that, but like after Rise of Lyric came out, I'm like, cautious optimism. But I watched the Game Grumps play, oh, ouch. I watched the Game Grumps play through Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric. And then I played it a little bit myself, and I'm like, this is absolute trash. I played, like, I want to say an hour, at least an hour worth of it, and before I was like, okay, fuck this, this is stupid. It, it, I mean, contrary to what some people might think, it, I honestly don't think it would be that good. All that. Wait, I already said that. It's like, it would have been an okay game, it's just that it would have been okay at least, but people would have complained on like, do you, do you, I gotta ask, do you people honestly think you would have complained about it less if it, if the game was more polished? 
like, no, I honestly think that you guys would complain almost as much. But, like, after that, Sonic was just kind of a meme at this point. Like, mean, everybody was like, no, man, they can't get worse than Sonic 06. But, like, I should stress that I have played Sonic Boom. And, well, I guess I have played, said that Sonic 06 is the worst game, but, yeah. But, no, I, I would say that Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric is the worst game I've ever played. But, like, I said that, but I played it, like, about a year ago or something. And so, not very much, and I'm like, I never want to touch this again. Like, I don't, I don't know. Then there was uh, Sonic Boom Fire and Ice. Uh, haven't played it, not going to. And then there was Sonic Mania, which everybody seemed to absolutely love. Okay, off topic, but what the heck are these things? Oh, they're skulls, and I just picked up some purple Darmanitans. Oh, those are skulls. I don't know if those, those were skulls. That's what those were. Skulls with crosses on top of them. That's not going to offend anybody. So, Fire and Ice. So, no, Sonic Mania. Um, I I can see why, peop why people like it, because it was a Sonic game made by people that actually give a shit about Sonic. AKA, AKA fans. And I definitely... And I do think that the game had a lot of effort put into it. I just didn't like it, because I don't like the 2D Sonic games. Because I didn't like the way it controlled, I didn't like the enemy placement. The enemy placement was the main thing, my main problem with the game, is that the enemy and obstacle placement was kind of bullshit. Let's just, let's be honest. The, the enemy placement was absolute bullshit. Like, what did you? Th how did you think you were gonna get that? I'm sorry, Sonic. Did you say something? I can't hear you over this loud ass music. He didn't move a muscle there. Although, how? Also, wasn't he supposed to? Must be cut. There, that parrot is still in the background on top of that capsule. So you got a newbie? That's what the lyrics sounded like it said just now. Like, hashtag what? Um, then, so Sonic Mania, I at least respect it, I just don't like it. Like, I, I wish I liked this game, I just don't, I'm sorry. Like, I prefer the modern games over the classic games. I will be. I will give it this. It looks amazing. The sprite quality is amazing, and the soundtrack is holy shit. That soundtrack is top tier. It's top tier quality. It's just I don't like Oil Ocean. Is basically where I was like, fuck this game. I don't want to play it anymore. If you like it, good on you. I can see that it's a good game. I just don't like it. Uh, and then there was the game that completely ruined the franchise for me permanently, called Sonic Forces. Like, I think I've said before that Final Fantasy XIII is my most hated game of all time. Well, it is a masterpiece compared to Sonic Forces. Sonic Forces is my most hated, my new most hated game of all time. It's not my most disappointing, because I wasn't disappointed with it, I was just infused. I don't think I've ever played a Sonic game that has pissed me off nearly this much. Because I consider it to be worse than Sonic 06, but not worse than Rise of Lyric. Because... Yeah, just as long as I don't get in front of directly the laser. Whoa. It would have been nice to have some subtitles there or something. Like, okay, it just changes the the camera angles sometimes. Like, 
like, okay, like, what is that supposed to do? Does fuck all, honestly. It just changes the camera angles to make it look shinier, I guess. I don't fucking care. Like, Sonic Forces, the most that game had going for it is it's like, oh, it's gonna be another generation test game because of Sonic. Because classic Sonic is coming back. I'm like, oh, sweet, they're doing Sonic Generations again, except they have a really cool ass looking villain, and they have. Uh, and they have character customization, which I wasn't caring about, but uh, honestly, I was like. Um, honestly, this game feels like. doesn't really feel, know like what direction it wants to go in. And it's just like the, for the closer we got to release the game, it's just like. Um, yeah, this is really not doing any fav doing me any favors of wanting to get it. I ended up getting it anyway. And I'm just like, this is And of course a lot of people are saying it's not very good. It's mediocre at best, so I will give it that. The most I can give it is that it functions and it and the villain looks Real, has one of the coolest designs in the franchise, in my humble opinion. There we go. Like, Infinite, I swear to God, is, in my opinion, the coolest Sonic character design in the franchise. I'm not kidding. I think he has a cooler design than Mephilus and uh, Shadow the Hedgehog. His design is just amazing. But he's just such a bad villain. He's... Oh my gosh, he is... Awful villain. We gotta land on the egg carrier. Whoops. Uh, I forgot something. What's that? There's no landing gear in this mode. What? Okay, can't you couldn't you just switch out of that? Okay, no, I guess not. And your body's literally didn't move. Astute observation, Sherlock. No time to clock now. We need to find Amy. <laughs> You're right, my friend. So here we go. That's kind of a late reaction. Alrighty, so you know what? I'm actually having some fun with this, so let's go ahead and do a fifth episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care.